This tutorial is going to show you how to edit elevations, specifically wall elements and elevations, when something is a unique shape or form that does not necessarily work in the traditional way. First, we're going to tile our views so that we can see both our east elevation and our building in three dimensions so that we can see how these changes impact our three-dimensional model. I go up to the View tab, then I come over to the right hand side and go to Tile Views so that I can see both the elevation and the 3D view of the east side of the building. So we put these roofs on earlier in another tutorial and now because of the way we have developed the roofs which associate with a certain level and the walls which associate with a certain level they don't quite meet so what I can do is I can do what is called attach to top base so if I click on one of the walls in either the 3d view or the elevation you notice that the modify tab comes open and I have options here towards the right of the modify tab options that says attach top base and detach top base. If you already have something attached to the top base like a roof you can actually detach it and it will go back to the initial settings. When we think about the initial settings we can see here since we've selected that wall that the initial settings are base constraint of the first floor which is this level the top constraint is unconnected and the height is 20 feet. What we typically want is we want it to be associated with the level and we can see that while that wall is not associated with the level if we click on another wall this wall is associated with the level. It's up to roof. So either one of those we can attach to top base or the roof level um, actually the roof element not the roof level because obviously the roof element is different than just the level itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of those walls. I'm going to click on attach top base and you notice Revit gives you some instructions here down in the lower left hand corner and it tells you to select the roof, floor, ceiling, or parallel walls to which the selected wall should be attached. So again I can select either the roof in the elevation or in the 3D and you notice that that wall then becomes attached to that roof and we want to do that on all sides of our project. So I'm going to go through and do attach top base to different walls and you sometimes it's easier to do it in 3D because you can see things a little bit better than having to go to all of the different elevations and remember if we have something selected and we hold down the shift key and our scroll wheel we can zoom around just that particular element which makes it a little bit easier to move around the model so I'm going to go ahead and hit attach top base and you really shouldn't do it until after you select the item you want to attach and I'm going to move around my model and attach those walls to my roof. Now this roof does not have any overhangs but if you do have roof overhangs it will still do the same thing. Now you notice here that when I attach the top base because this wall does not extend all the way over I have this opening. This is where we can then edit the elevation and edit the wall so that the wall comes out only in that particular area where things are open. So here I'm going to zoom in on my elevation in the area where I need to edit that elevation and I'm going to click on the wall that I want to change. You notice again when I click on the wall that it has modify walls and now further over from the attached top base we see the option edit profile. If we click on Edit Profile, this then lets us change it from the basic shape that we started with. So you notice it also gives us a warning that says it removes that top attachment where we attached it to the roof. And that's okay because we're making this a little more customized to this particular area. Never check Do Not Show Me This Message Again because you want to make sure that Revit gives you these warnings just in case you forget. So now this wall is a sketch and you can see it goes back to the original wall where it went up to 20 feet and so what I'm going to do is similar to what we do with our sketches for other things I'm going to just adjust these sketch lines to where I would like this wall to go. 
and because I detach these two lines it's saying that they are not satisfied so I'm going to remove the constraints and I'm going to move these lines up and I'm going to need to add additional lines because remember with sketches they always need to be completely closed or they will give you an error message when you try to complete your sketch. So now I have sketched the pink line all the way around in the area where I need that wall to infill where it didn't automatically go up to the roof line. I hit the check mark in order to finish my sketch and you notice that it's giving me an error because of the way it's trying to join the roof. So I want to hit unjoin elements but now I have this wall that encloses that area that was not enclosed before. And I can scroll around the model and see that and see some of the other areas where I'm probably going to have to do the same thing on this side because the rest of these walls will probably just attach to the top base relatively easily. Sometimes you have to play around because what you think is the top that they should be attached to might not be quite aligned with it so you may get an error in relation to that but it's typically very easy and if it doesn't quite work as we saw earlier we can always edit the profile in order to make it work.